no matter what you do, you cannot create more time. You can create more money, but not more time. So with this in mind, how can you utilize the time you have more effectively than you currently are? And so to look at this, I want to examine the tasks that you're doing on a weekly basis. Do you need to do every task that you have on your to-do list? Or would you be better served delegating those tasks to some other people? And I think to, to, to really look at this, you have to identify what it is that you're particularly good at. What are those high priority items that you need to make sure you do personally? And also, what are those items that somebody else may be more efficient or effective at doing than you? And, and that's really what it comes down to. And ultimately, it really comes down to what are you good at and what do you enjoy doing? So I made my career by spending time with clients. That's what really, from a sales perspective, that's what drove my business. That's what put food on the table. And the more time I spent with my clients, the more money I made because the relationship with that client would strengthen. And so in doing this, what I started realizing was all these other tasks that I was doing didn't make a lot of sense if I could use that time to spend with the client. And let me give you an idea what I mean. I used to spend a lot of time doing copies and collating sheets and putting together kits. And I then realized that, you know what, that's a very low priority task. If I could figure out a way to get that done elsewhere, I could take that time and energy and use it on the clients and generate more revenue as a result. And as a matter of fact, it worked. And so as I started to, to make more revenue and pull in more money and have a better lifestyle, then I started to look at my leisure time. And the last thing I ever wanted to do on a Saturday afternoon was get outside in the sun and cut my grass. Right? I just don't enjoy it. Some of you may find that therapeutic. I, I just don't. Same thing with house, with house cleaning, washing my car. These are just things I'd rather not do. And so as, as my time became more and more valuable, it, it became worth it to me to just hire people to do these tasks. And the, th the thing that really did it for me was putting, a, putting in a ceiling fan in my youngest daughter's bedroom one day. Had a light kit, it was fairly complicated, but not overly complicated, and I'm hanging this thing. My arm's getting tired from sitting up there. I'm, in, I'm up there for two hours on a, on a ladder trying to screw this thing in, and it's just not working. And then I realized the mounting hardware is upside down. So I had to start over again. And I finally realized, you know what? There's an electrician out there that can knock this job out in 20 minutes. It was taking me two hours. And by the way, that electrician would, be a, would do a far better job than I ever could. So why not, why not have people do what they're good at and delegate things accordingly? And that's exactly where I'm going here. You know, the other thing I, I realized from a professional standpoint is, is that I... I thrive at being in front of, of large groups of people and presenting content that I created. That's what I'm good at. That's what I do. The things that I'm not particularly good at, the logistics behind setting these things up, booking the room, ordering the food, making sure that all the materials are there, and, 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 and all that sort of behind-the-scenes stuff, I am not particularly good at. And I found, that there are, I, I found that there are people that are far better than me, again, at doing things like this. And I've been fortunate enough to surround myself with those people. And so now, the experience that we bring when I, when I get together to do something is far better because I have the right people in the right places and I can dedicate my time to my highest priority, which in the end makes everything better. And that's what we're trying to make happen. So I want you to ask yourself the following questions. First, look at your tasks that you have for next week, and then, and then identify a couple of things. Number one, is this task a very high priority task that you're doing? Each one of them, one by one, ask yourself that question. Number two, are you good at it and do you enjoy doing it? Number three, are you the best person to handle this particular issue? If not, who can you delegate it to? And find somebody to delegate it to. And if, and if you are going to delegate it, is it cost effective for you to do so? In other words, is it going to cost you an inordinate amount of, do of money to make it happen? Or is it something that you know, you're going to pay somebody to do some clerical work for you and it's relatively inexpensive or housework would work there as well? And then the last question, what could you accomplish in your newfound time? Contemplate these things. Make the changes in your life. And I promise you, you will become more productive.